Another great way to give back is to be a mentor, which can be beneficial for both the mentee and the mentor. That's certainly the case with our next story about a university-based mentoring program that's been getting rave reviews from both the students and the participants since it started way back in 1982. Halifax's Laura Bain has the story. I'm here in the picturesque town of Wolfville, Nova Scotia at Acadia University, which is home to a unique program for people with disabilities and student volunteers. It's called Sensory Motor Instructional Leadership Experience, or SMILE. The SMILE program operates out of the University Athletic Centre. We catch up with SMILE program director Roxanne Seaman on a busy Friday night session. The SMILE program is a program that is for children, youth and adults with all different ability levels and they have the opportunity to participate in physical activity settings with um, university students on four different program days. We have basically the run of the athletic complex on the days of the programming. Activities include gym games, swimming, arts and craft and dancing. SMILE participants are paired with student volunteers or buddies. Kinesiology student Leah Witten is one of two volunteers paired with SMILE participant Ashley Muse. Ashley at first was very shy with us, <laughs> but we now know that she is not shy at all. Ashley, now 21, has been coming to SMILE since she was three years old. What's your favorite thing about coming here on Friday nights? Um, I, I always go to dance, coming, and my favorite is to meet some people. Ashley's buddies work one-on-one -on -one with her on various physical, cognitive, and social goals. Right now, we're working on some time goals of <laughs> we have to have a certain time frame to get things done. But beyond the developmental goals for participants and the leadership goals for volunteers, at the heart of Acadia's SMILE program is a huge amount of fun. The atmosphere here is pretty incredible. I always get really excited coming to SMILE on Friday nights. There's always activities in the gym, and there's a craft room and music therapy, and then obviously we all go swimming. At, for an hour at 7.30, so that's always one of the most <laughs> exciting parts of the night. Smile participants and volunteers often become friends, and relationships can stretch far beyond university. The bonds that take place with the students are just incredible between the students and the participants. Ashley's taught us a lot more than we can teach her. David Bambrick, a top-ranked shot put and discus para-athlete and a past participant with SMILE, agrees. I do a lot of speeches uh, for Acadia uh, around, uh, around the SMILE program, and my motto is, it's not what the leaders can teach the kids, it's what the kids can teach the leaders. David now volunteers for the program he says changed his life. In school, I was classed as different. I was the different kid. But when you come to SMILE, everyone is equal. No one has a label. There's no bullying, there's no teasing, there's, you can just be yourself. Roxanne is proud of SMILE's success. I would love to be able to share SMILE with a lot of other different locations and in different institutions, just to see everyone playing together and it's the best way that you can spend a Friday night or a Saturday morning, I think. So it certainly is an inclusive community feel. What a great program. It sure is, and it's very popular with participants and students. Last fall, 600 Acadia students came out to their annual call for volunteers. Roxanne's goal of spreading smile magic is coming to fruition. They teamed up with the University of Toronto to open their own smile or sensory motor instructional leadership experience in September of last year. If you're interested in learning more, visit smile.acadiau.ca. That's Acadia and the letter U.ca.